Isana, tell us more about yourself. I'm Tisana, the CEO and co-founder of Nobro. So Nobro is a social startup based in Thailand where we try to solve the problem of inequality and bridging the wealth gap for the low income population, working population in Thailand um, by providing the financial literacy and access to microcredits through the mobile application. What prompted you to start a company like Nobro? So coming from the name of No Bureau, it's actually coming from No Credit Bureau, meaning the people without credit history or the people who already been excluded from the financial, a uh, formal financial sector uh, because they are having a bad credit history. So we would like to give them um, the financial literacy and the ability to, to, to manage their own finance and be able to get back to the formal financial sector once again. Um, so I was studying in Japan before, so I know a little of kanji. So Noburo sounded like Japanese, right? So it's coming from the name Nobu means trust and Ro means path. So coming together is path of trust, meaning that we wanted to take um, the people who are being excluded from, from a formal financial sector to be back on the path of trust of the credit system again. So when I established Noburo back then, I was working in the financial sector and I see a lot of um, customers who are uh, having a, a lower income. They come to us and ask like, if I have a bad credit history, is it okay to uh, ask for the loan? And we see that many of the cases, the way that they're in debtness, it doesn't come from uh, they have like mismanagement of the finance, but it's just that they lack of financial literacy. They don't know how to manage it. They don't have the confidence of actually they could be able to get out of debt. So that was the inspiration that me and myself and, um, and my team, um, our co-founder, has formed Noburo to um, solve uh, one of the most pressing uh, Thailand national uh, problem, which is the household debt uh, in, in Thailand. Tisana, in regard with working with some of your clients, especially those who are in debt, what are the common stereotypes that you have to overcome? Um, if you talk about the uh, household debt and also loan shark problem in Thailand, it is now a very pressing national problem because our uh, household debt has climbed up to almost 90% of the GDP and has, it has become like I think number one in Asia and in, in like top 10 of the world. And when you look at the, uh, the, the quality of the loan or debt for, for the consumer loan, it, it goes to like consumption loan. That's not healthy. So um, what we tends to see when we work with the blue collar workers and also with the employers who employ them. We see that uh, a lot of uh, stigma and also like belief um, on, on the, the people at the bottom of the pyramid, they tend to uh, think that themselves can never be able to get out of debt. So they, they don't trust that they could be able to climb up the wealth ladder and they have to be in debt forever. Even they retired, even they, they have to, like, they, they, they don't have any um, income. So that's a very sad thing. And um, what we try to do and teach them is that not just only um, teach them of how they learn about finance or financial management, but also giving them the confidence and also the power within themselves that, okay, they need to change the way they think, the way they behave, and, and this requires a lot of um, as a long-term a commitment, also a long-term perspective of uh, how they view their life. So what are the biggest challenges faced by your company? So after we have been working with this for, uh, for quite some time, so we have been established for four years, and um, we see that, uh, okay, if, if we wanted to work on behavior change, uh, changing the mindset of the people, it's a very difficult thing, right? And, and it requires a lot of effort and trial and error and research and development on how we could improve our financial literacy courses, how we could improve our platform to actually really helping them to uh, get out of debt, the quality of um, you know, doing the financial behavior change. Uh, with that, um, it takes a lot of time. At the same time, we need to scale because we are, uh, we are running a business, right? Even a social enterprise is not, it's for profit. And, and if we don't have a profit, we cannot you know, take care of the team. So it's, the challenging thing is that how we could actually um, balance um, the prop purpose and profit together. Tisana, despite these challenges, what keeps you and Noburo going? 
all of the challenges that we're facing, I, I would say that me, myself, and, and, the, and the management team is very lucky that we have the right people in the team. And the right people is actually coming from, first of all, um, the, the, our um, core value and also our big mission, that we would like to solve this um, inequality, this wealth gap um, in, in, in Thailand. And like bringing this big why uh, as our uh, North Star. So uh, a lot of people joining force with us because they, they see that, okay, we are doing something good for the society. And um, by selecting the right people into the team, going through the difficult times, even we, sometimes during the COVID, we have the financial difficulties as well because of the you know, factories and companies are uh, shutting down or uh, they, they have to stop their operation. Um, during those times, we're going through that because of the understanding of our team. So um, it's very important to communicate um, with the team very often that why we do what we do. And also like if there's some challenges uh, coming and you have to make the decision, you go back to your value, you go back to your mission that why are you established from the first place. Like being very strong in our mission and, and our core value, it helps us to be very clear and focused of what we are doing. And therefore, um, eventually, a lot of people, not just only the staff or the team member, we have like the corporates that are our clients. We have the public, we have the government that starts seeing what we're doing is very benefit to the society, is really helping the country and they're joining force with us and, and it's helping us to get uh, to where we are today. What are some of the most important life lessons you actually picked up from your journey? The most important thing um, I've learned through through this journey of, of you know bring, like uh, leading Nobro is that uh, being very true to yourself, being being very true to your value is very important. There were times that we were in very financial um, um, has it um, problem uh, of of the company. We were thinking like, okay, should we shift our focus? Um, we could be just like a platform doing the digital lending, uh, just giving out the, the loan to the people and making people in more debt. But we choose not to do that because um, it would, I, I don't know, I, I couldn't get up and, and tell myself like, how, what should I be working for today if I like doing something like others are doing? So um, I think being true to, to myself and also communicate this to the team every day and, and they start to believe that okay what we're doing is, is a really big thing and, and we actually get through it and it's actually work because um, the more we, we focus and we are um, stick to our value um, the more it uh, like the people are helping us and supporting us and it keeps us focused not to you know um, going around and, and, and just being like um, to lose your focus yeah and lose the focus to others who are thinking of starting a similar business like Noburo what would your advice be to them okay as Noburo we are a social enterprise and um, we start off with um, the, the very strong belief um, that we wanted to solve um, the national problem of like, like household debt. And at the first place, uh, nobody believes us that, okay, uh, the, the low-income workers, uh, the low-income population, they will never be able to get out of debt. That's what we, we have as a, as a feedback or comments in the first place. Strongly sticking to your belief is very important and being patient on your journey is very important. And then try to convey and transmit your passion to the people around you. And when time passes and you have overcome all the challenges and all the uh, difficulties of making the business, I think more and more people will be joining force with you if you are very truly uh, firm to your belief. Tisana, what's next for Noburu? Um, so for the next five years, we aim to uh, be able to help uh, at least one million Thai people to be able to get out of debt and also start saving at least like 10 billion baht of, of the total accumulation of the wealth that we wanted to create for the uh, working population in Thailand. We see that uh, financial literacy and also financial access is also a problem a common problem throughout Southeast Asia as well. And if uh, we are ready, we would like to also expand outside Thailand as well. So, which are the regions that you intend to expand, you know? You mean the um, country? Yeah, the countries, yeah. We see that a lot of um, uh, countries that have commonalities with Thailand are the country with uh, manufacturing and also service industry, which for example, like Indonesia or Malaysia or Vietnam or even Cambodia. All right, so 
Where do you see your company in the next five years? First of all, we think that we, we want it to be uh, a one of the leading uh, social fintech companies that are helping, supporting the, uh, the people who are in debt to be able to get out of debt. And, um, and also, the company would already be like, doing very well and we, we could be able to support um, the society as a whole. And we wanted to set, uh, become a standard of, for example, financial institution, for the people, for the employers who wanted to help the employees, who wanted to help their workers, that, um, okay, there's actually, actually a way that you can do good, uh, doing well by doing good, and, uh, and at the same time, um, doing something uh, for the society while making profit as well.